What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame of 4. In this issue 127 to 130 of Build Lauren from Back to the Future, we're going to be putting together the plutonium case and receiving the clock. So guys, the first thing that it's asking us to do is get out our pieces. So we want 127A, the plutonium case lid. We also want 127D, which is the lid catches times two. Uh, 127B, the handle base and 127C which is the handle and MP screws times 8. The first thing we need to do is take 127C that's held in place by 127B and screwed in with four MP screws on top just like that. Right so the next thing it's saying is to put on the uh, catches as well so 127D just got the front there and they are held on by two MP screws, as you can see there. There you are. So that's all we have to do in this issue. So we're just building the top section uh, for this one. And then we will be building the bottom section in the next one and then piecing it all together. So good. Just so much detail on this. This is just such a, uh, you know, this is worth uh, building DeLorean just to receive these issues if you are a subscriber. Right, so we are going to just quickly have a quick breeze through the magazine. Martin McFly being shown a model of him there, which is absolutely fantastic. And then also there's a bit where he's suited up. And then we are going to move into the plutonium case, which is issue 128. And we're going to be doing that right now. So stay tuned for that, guys. Okay guys, so we are now moving on to issue 128, which is the plutonium case body. So grab all your pieces out, you want 120A, which is the plutonium case body, 128B, which are the catches, 128X, which are the covers and the handles, and AP screws times A, EP screws times 4. The first thing it's going to get us to do is to attach 128A onto the side, and using the cover, which is 128B, either side, uh, we want to hold those on with MP screws times four either side there. So there you go. So that's one side. And then you just need to do the other side there. Once you have done that, that is um, that side finished. And also the other side, so the left and right side is finished where you would kind of carry it in real life. And then you want to move on to uh, putting the front catches on again. So these are going to be the ones that clip into place. They are held in two. So there's two 128Ds are held in by two OP screws times two so there you go so that's how they are and then it's all finished off like that just look at the detail in this box it's just so good um these are the last issues guys uh you know that we're going to be doing on this because we're not extending it uh, a little bit about the 30th anniversary and again we are going to be moving straight into the next issue which is issue 129 and that's the plutonium case inside parts so join me for that in a moment because we're going to be going straight into it Moving straight on to issue 129, we have all the insides that are going to hold the plutonium into place. So you want to have 129B, plutonium rod holder, 129A, lid interior, 129D, which is the padding, 129E, the straps, 129C, the hinge, and also AP screws times A, IP screws times 4, and PP screws times 8. As you just saw there, we have already just put in that foam piece, which is stuck in by 129 29D and that is just stuck down to the bottom there. Then you want to take 129E and 100 and 129E sorry and place that onto the base and that is just held in with the two straps either side. So I don't know if you can see that but these straps are quite fiddly to do. You need to place 124B onto 124A and then you need to loop them round just like you're seeing here and then you need to hold them in with two IP screws because it's kind of like a, a loop just so when you lift in the lid of this up it goes in a certain way. We will show you this in a more detailed look when we do the recap video and then we'll show you that nice and close up because there are some mods from Mike Lane on this as well. So if yours is looking like that, that you are onto the right track. Once it is looking like this, you do need to attach it to uh, the top of the lid, which is just held in there like that. And to hold it into uh, the top part of the lid, you're just going to use the AP screws. And then you just need to slide the bottom piece into the bottom and attach that with the four corners of the AP screws there. And then you should have the box looking like that in two halves. So once uh, you are happy with it in the two half sections, then you want to just sort of piece it together, push the two sort of ribbons in with your fingers and line it up. And then you want to attach the hinge on the back, which is 129C. And that is held in by quite a few. So eight 
PP screws. So there you go. So once you've got all those in, you should have uh, a nice looking plutonium case, which looks just like that. And that should clip into place. And then you should push those little tabs to release the lid. Uh, and if that all lines up and you're happy with it, then you are on to the right track, guys. Look at this thing. This is just so good. It's done that in a one eight scale, obviously, so it matches uh, the DeLorean model itself. Uh, the hinge parts lift up absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with this box. This is such a great addition to get for building the DeLorean. So there you go. Uh, it's just, I'm just over the moon with how happy I am with all of this. Right, celebrating the future day. Uh, we're just not gonna talk about that because we wanna move on to the next ones. We are gonna be doing the plutonium rods and we will receive the alarm clock in the next one. We're gonna move straight into that guy, so don't go anywhere. Moving straight on to issue 130, which is the last one for us. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, we want to make sure that we grab all our pieces out again. 130A will be the plutonium canisters times 12. 130C, the plutonium rods times 12. 130B, the plutonium canister lids. And then we need 130D, which are the stickers, which are as fiddly as hell. And then 130E is the pre-made alarm clock. So the first thing it asks us to do is to uh, insert... Um, the little canisters, so you need to put the 130A and 130B together and place them into uh, the plutonium case as you can see there. A lot of people have had trouble where the lids have come off, you can use a tiny bit of super glue. You do need to put those little um, yellow and red bands on, they are a nightmare, we haven't obviously shown you how to do that, so just stickers guys, but they just take so long to do, but they just make this thing look absolutely fantastic. There's your little alarm clock and that is really it. I can't believe we've been 130 issues, you know, this has taken quite a couple of years to do. Um, I can't wait to recap. So the next uh, video we do, we won't be moving on to doing any more of this guys because you know what? Um, we're going to stop here. We might pick this up at a later date and maybe do the time circuits and the railway and you know the rail wheels and the track. But for now, we're going to leave it there. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now guys. Bye bye.